welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing the six best utilities that every windows user must have and if you want to keep your windows pc running at its best no matter how old it is you should check out these handy utilities right now because it will be helping you with different purposes like keeping your computer clean with the optimization and with many different purposes so let's quickly get it started and on number six that we have is the bleach bit and it helps you to free up a space by deleting unnecessary files such as cache system log and temporary file it can also clear your browsing history cookies and cache to protect your privacy so you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website and once you come up here you can click on download and the downloading will be started and once it will be installed you will be getting this kind of simple page simple box that will be coming up now here you get tons of options and here on the left and top you find three different options. and if you click on the preview option it will let you know that what kind of disk space uh, need to be recovered what kind of file need to be deleted and then if you click on clean you can just delete all these files that you have previewed if you look on the left hand menu option you get multiple options like dbscan ds underscore store backup file temporary file so if you want to clear them you can simply check them and then click on ok so depending what kind of file has to be deleted it will delete all your temporary file similarly if you want to optimize and delete all kind of cache cookies and data of your google chrome so you can check the boxes of cache and this will be clearing all the caches then you can also check the cookies box similarly from history password search engine session site preference sync vacuum then you have internet explorer microsoft edge and then you get the system file and cache like free disk space memory dump and in order to use it you just need to click on it and then it will give you all kind of your details and rest you can check it out because there are tons of other options like you can do it for vlc media player windows defender windows explorer and it will list you all kind of application installed on your computer as i have a new machine here so much applications are not been installed so it's showing me limited program over here okay so you must have this tool because this will be providing you an easy platform to clear all kind of cache temporary file and other kind of data so let's move with the next one and the number five is sharex now sharex make it easy to take a screenshot record your screen and share a screenshot file so it's an excellent tool for anyone who need to capture and share information quickly and easily so again you will be getting this link in the description you have to click on download once downloaded you have to install it and once installed you will be getting this kind of simple page with lots of options and menus that you can look over here and if you talk about a few basic options so if i hover up on the capture and click on it so it shows me that how exactly it work like the full screen option the window option the monitor option so you can just have a look on it i'm not going in the detail or else the video would be very lengthy and now if we talk about the hotkey setting that how exactly it work so to capture the region you have to use the control print screen capture entire screen you have to use the print screen only capture active window you just have to use alt plus print screen and for the recording you can use the shift plus print screen and in order to stop it you have to use the same hotkey all right so let's quickly see that how exactly it work so if i open any part of the window and then if i use the hotkey that is control print screen and now once it comes up it gives you a tons of options that will be displayed on the very top and there are lots of things like you want to add any kind of sticker then you can click on it then you can add a sticker uh whichever you want to like i want to add this one so i will simply click on it and the sticker will be added on that particular part or you can just drag it wherever you want to place it okay so these are the additional option and now if i want to take a screenshot then i will select that part which i want to take the screenshot and that part will be selected and if i click on it it will be coming up then you can click on share and then you can share with anyone all right so this tool can be really helpful for the people who do some kind of uh, tutorial work like some kind of teaching who do a lot of a screenshot this can be really useful for them and number four that we have f.lux and it is a free windows utility that adjusts the color 
temperature of your display according to the time and the location so people who are concerned about the color temperature who want to have the different kind of color so that it should not harm their eyes definitely use this free tool on their windows machine so again you will be getting the link in the description you will have to come to this website then you have to click on download f.lux and once it will be downloaded you have to install it and once installed it will be automatically adjusting the color of the desktop now you can adjust it depending that what kind of uh, temperature you want what kind of color brightness you want you will be getting the slider that you can move left and right if you want the more brighter then you can make it on the right hand side if you need the soothing one then you can just drag to the left hand side okay there are many other presets that you get like you can change the date and time let the computer know that what is your wake up time and accordingly it will adjust the temperature and the color of the desktop all right so there are many other things like you can click on the drop down here on the right hand top and it says reduce eye strain classic working late so whatever kind of work you do and whatever type of requirement you have you can choose the preset from here okay so this can be really useful this is a free tool and somewhere it will be surely helping you all right so let's move with the third one that is optimizer and this is really a very powerful tool for the optimization to keep your windows machine pc and laptop up to date optimized for the best performance so again you will be getting the link in the description this will be a github link and once you come to this page you have to click on optimizer 15.8 exe under the asset the downloading will be started once downloaded you have to click on the downloaded file then click on yes and then it will display this kind of page now here if you look in the general tab it says optimize performance so you just need to select it turn it on then it says optimizer network and if you want to optimize your network you just have to toggle it on disable error reporting if you don't want any kind of reporting from the error then you can enable this option disable compatibility assistant you can disable it disable print service so if you don't use any kind of print service and it's still it's running in the background that surely occupies a lot of resources then what you can do simply disable it from here do the same with the fax if you don't use the fax disable the sticky keys if you want to disable it then you can disable it a smart screen then in the disk driver we have disable system restore disable super fetch now this is really recommended to in order to reduce the cpu and the ram usage so you can disable this option as well if you want to disable hibernation disable the search everything you can manage from here then you have the telemetry option disable mozilla firefox browser visual studio nvidia telemetry then you can do it from right here then if you go to the windows 11 there are many things that you will find related to windows 11 like you can restore the classic file explorer you can disable my people enable long path disable tpm check so while installing windows 11 if you're getting any kind of uh, error that it cannot be installed on the unsupported hardware then you can just disable the tpm check so that it can bypass it similarly there are lots of things like disable virtualization based security then you have disable automatic update now many people have this kind of requirement that they want to disable the windows 10 or 11 automatic update then you can just enable this option then you can disable the widget disable the chat disable the stickers disable cortana disable edge telemetry edge discover so in the gaming you have the gaming mode option you can disable the xbox live disable game bar that occupy a lot of cpu ram and eat a lot of fps and the bandwidth okay so everything you can manage from here you get a lot of things that you can do by just one click now if you go to the startup you can manage the startup application then you can manage the application here you can use different kind of cleaner that you get here then we have the network option and if you want to set any kind of custom dns then you can do it from right here if you want to flush the dns cache then you can do it by making a one click if you want to set any kind of dns then you can do that and then we have many more options that you can check it out so it's all in one optimizer that will helping you to optimize almost everything on your windows machine
and now next o and o shut up one zero plus plus and it help you to control the various data collection and telemetry feature of windows for example you can disable the location tracking search queries and app usage data so again you will be getting the link in the description and once you come up here you have to click on download and once downloaded this kind of page will be up now it give you a lot of options like disable and reset advertising id and info that basically run in your background so now all these tool and the feature are related to the advertisement and related to the privacy okay so if you want to disable you can disable it then you have disable suggestion in the timeline disable suggestion in the start so all kind of suggestion that you get in the start you can disable it by making a one click then you get disable tips tricks and suggestion when using windows so you can disable that disable showing suggested content in the setting app disable app notification disable app to local language for browser disable storage of clipboard history so these are the option like disable app access to camera disable app access to microphone so everything you can manage from one page only not only this if you scroll down you will find a lot of option for which you struggle and you can do everything by just one page over here now these are the settings that is showing for the current user and from the top if you click on the local machine you will find many other options that is of privacy like you can disable the inventory collector disable camera in log on screen disable windows error reporting disable biometrical features disable backup of text messages into the cloud so these are the options that you get and many windows 11 users or windows 10 users will find this very helpful because they know that how useful this feature can be for them and now let's move the last and the final one on the top that we have the iobit unlocker which is a lightweighted windows tool to help you easily unlock file or folder used by other process or are locked for some reason now this can be really beneficial when you are trying to delete move or renaming a file and you get an error message saying that the file is in use or you cannot delete it because the file is open with different program or you do not have enough permission to do it so if you get any kind of similar messages then you can easily use the io bit to manage and delete it how exactly it works let me quickly show you a quick overview like if i open my videos and if i play in the background and i'm not sure that where exactly it is running now if i want to delete this file and if i make a right click on it and choose delete so you can see i get a message that says the action can't be completed because the file is open in vlc media player now this is just for example there can be a lot of things while deleting any kind of pictures any kind of document folder and you are not sure that where exactly that file has been open okay so what you will have to do the file that you want to delete or you want to move or rename whatever you want to do just make a right click on it click on show more option in case if you are using windows 11 then you have to click on iobit unlocker then click on yes now this will display the information and the path that where exactly this file has been open okay now if you want to delete it here you find the unlock option click on the drop down and click unlock and delete if you want to rename then choose unlock and rename if you want to go with move then go with unlock and move so let's see if i want to delete it i will go with the first option then i will click on ok and now you can see the file has been deleted okay so this can be very useful because for such kind of work you really waste a lot of time searching that how you have to fix this kind of problem all right so these were the six best utilities and tools that i was talking about that every windows user must have and i would also recommend that you should go ahead and install these free utilities on your windows computer and if you find this video helpful guys do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye